we're sat in um, Hut 8 at Bletchley Park and we're actually sat in the office that was used by Alan Turing when he was um, the head of Hut 8 for the first three years of the war. And Bletchley Park during the Second World War was the home of the Government Code and Cipher School, um, which was the name given to an organisation that overtly secured the United Kingdom's communications by creating codes and ciphers and covertly listened in to anybody and everybody, um, their secure messages, and then brought them in and decrypted them and produced intelligence out of it. Alan Turing was recruited along with another um, 55 or so um, what they term professorial types, having shared um, collateral with the Poles, um, the UK knew that you could mechanise this code-breaking process, the Poles had started it, um, and he worked with a chap called Gordon Welshman here, who was the head of um, Hut 6, um, which is next door to here, and they worked together um, on a machine called the Bomb. Uh, they rolled one out in 1940 here, and very quickly it became clear this was a, uh, a game-changing machine. It allowed them to speed up the process of finding the daily settings of the Enigma machine each day. Uh, and they produced about 250 of those. It's very easy and I think we all have difficulty seeing things of a huge scale. This was ultimately 9,000 people working on this site uh, in early 1945, working 24-7 um, and you know, shifts of 3,000 people or so changing over all the time. Uh, and it's much easier to get your head around one or two people and use them as icons for the rest of them. So I think you know, it was a team effort, very much a team effort. Every part of the organisation had a role to play. Um, from you know, great brains like Turing, down through other folks doing boring, mundane, but really important tasks of recording information, registering information, searching through information, etc., etc., to allow the people to have the right information at the right time to do the job they were doing. Of course, wars aren't won by co-breakers and people in the background with just intelligence. They're won by soldiers, sailors and airmen putting their lives at risk um, and you know, charging over beaches or whatever it happens to be. But what Bletchley Park did was give those folks doing that job the best possible advantage. <laughs>